What's up YouTube? This your girl Ash J Cupcake. And today I had an interview. So this video is going to be about job applications and why I hate them. As well as interviews and why I hate those. My most favorite hate, hated question of interviews is why do you want to work here? You want to say because I'm broke and I need a job. But that's obviously not the best answer. So, because they'll just look at you crazy. So then you gotta make up some bullshit and then give them like a reason out of the thin air as why you wanna work there when you're really in your mind thinking, hey, I've just applied here. I don't even know what I applied for and I just hope I get this job. But it doesn't work out like that. So, and then on interviews. The most, I've noticed that some of these interviews be like long as hell. And then it's like, I don't understand why. I was in an interview for Subway. The lady asked me a questionnaire. And on a questionnaire, there was like 40 questions on that damn thing. I was like, why are there so many questions on here? In my mind, of course. And she's like, excuse me, this, qu this questionnaire is long. I was like, no shit, really? Like, it's like three pages of shit. And then just to make you fill out some more shit. Where it's like, don't they get enough from asking you questions online? Why do you need a long questionnaire? I think it's retarded. On applications, applications are long as hell. I hate applications. I don't understand why an application has to be so long and why they need so much info. I think the worst application I filled out was for Target, and that was because every page they were trying to make you sign with the social, your social, the end of your social security number. I was like, why do they keep putting, making me put the end of my social this many times? It was complete stupidness. And then applications be not even relevant for real no more, cause they'll be asking stupidness on there like. If you were on a bus and five other people got on and three of them got back, got off the bus at the next stop, how many people are on the bus? Who gives a fuck? Last time I checked, that type of math was in third grade. Nobody cares how many people are left on the damn bus. That has nothing to do with making sandwiches or giving people coffee or any of the above. I could see standard math skills, like if you're applying to be a cashier, I could see them asking you money questions where it's relevant to the job. But questions dealing with like algebra and all these other questions that they be putting on these applications, they need to stop that mess because it's stupid. And then I was I was had an application one time where I had to fill out a language arts portion of the of the application. I felt like I was taking a test. I'm like, this is stupid. And then there's like comprehension, like you're stupid. It's like people can comprehend. You don't need to have that part of an application. You can have questions about how they act in a job setting that's relevant to the job. But all this other nonsense is just... Sam was married to Billy. Who was Sam married to? Come on now. Stop it. All of that other nonsense, that's just complete BS. You don't need to have applications like that. Applications where you're in detail to put a cover letter and resume, I understand those. But applications where they give you like a 50, 50 questionnaire, no. Nope. It's too long. And then they ask you 40 more questions in the job interview. Why? I had an interview today at Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, I love Dunkin' Donuts. Anyway, I had an interview today at Dunkin' Donuts. The lady didn't ask me any questions for real, except about my work ethic and how I am in a job setting and how I can handle a rush. That's all she asked me. She didn't ask me any of these questionnaire questions and these replicated questions that be on questionnaires about how 
tactful you are and what you would do if such and such happened and blah, 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 blah. It didn't even go down like that. She just basically told, asked me about myself and what I did for a living right now and how I'm a college student. We talked about that. And she asked me about how I can handle working under pressure. And that was it. Interview was over. Interview lasted eight minutes. The one I had at Subway with the questionnaires, that lasted an hour. Huge difference between eight minutes and an hour. Over an hour interview or eight minute interview. Whereas the the thing is way more calm versus hectic. Because you're trying to think about all these questions that be having you on guard. I don't know. If you guys hate job applications and job interviews like a bitch, comment on this video. And let me know your thoughts. And let me know some of the worst questions you've seen on job applications or some of the worst questions that they've asked you in job interviews. Thanks, guys. Also, subscribe to my channel, please. I just reached 20 subscribers, and I'm trying to go for 100. Let's see if we can make that happen. And share this video to wherever you share cool things at. See you guys.